Alright, hello. Uh, I am laying down my gear review on where I'm going. I'm going on a four day backpacking trip up in the Mount Evans Wilderness area. Uh, sorry about my voice. I am recovering right now. Uh, this is the best I'm doing. Hold out. Hopefully it doesn't sound too bad. But anyways, let's carry on. So I'm, I'm going on this trip to Mount Evans. And I got some stuff that I want to show. Uh, I leave in a week. So over here. I got my Lansky knife sharpener. It does good for sharpening blades. It's not my best one. I got my Gerber axe. This thing will always come with me. It's yeah, the weight's a little unbearable and it sucks, but it does pretty good. And my husky saw. This thing I uh, picked up at Home Depot and. Uh, what it is is it only weighs like 1.2 ounces something like that but it's really light and it's easy uh, does pretty good so far over here I got my my tracking stuff I got my gloves these are Wells Lamount leather gloves. These are what I always wear when I deal with the wood chopping out the wood. Uh, I got my Spot 2 GPS Messenger. Uh, it's, this thing will help me out so I can keep in touch with my family and friends while I'm gone so they don't have to worry about me. I got my Rhino 120 GPS Garmin system thing is amazing it's been pretty accurate it's come on a lot of trips with me uh, I got a map of where I'm going this is a map with my trail on it I got a highlighter in the back so I can highlight some stuff I got my bears grill knife survival knife this thing is awesome the blade is wicked sharp All right, moving on. So, over here I have my basic survival stuff. I got my climbing rope. I got my REI first aid hiker kit for three days. I got my storm matches. And I have my SOL survive outdoors longer survival kit and this thing pretty much everything I need and of course my compass and a pair of binoculars uh, with here I got my my GSI outdoors pots and bowls and everything I need is in here uh, I got my titanium cup for so I can have my cocoa or something when it gets cold uh, and here I got my high-tech igniter uh, it's pretty good it's got a igniter on it uh, and here I keep a little bag an extra uh, plastic bag and strip of hand so that way you don't come back and your hands are like pure black uh, out of that I got my spoon is light my fire and just pick this up I've tried it out a few times it's all right design it's kind of weird like I thought it's cool because it was like ah oh, sweet I got my knife and my fork and my spoon all in one it's okay 
But this, this is better. My Sea to Summit spoon. Titanium spoon. Sink. That's pretty good. And I got... I got three cans. I uh, only brought out two. Uh, for lights. I got my Rayvok. I call this my God light. It's just super bright. It'll pretty much turn your camp from nighttime to daylight. I got my Alpine Design tent light. I always like to hang this from the roof and have a nice little light. We're bringing two forms of headlights. Uh, this one, this one's an alright design. Uh, this one's a good design as well. But that's all I ever need. I don't need to bring anything else. All right, and now for sleeping bags and all my sleepwear. Well, this I picked up about a few months ago by Swiss Sport Alpine Mummy Bag. It's three pounds. Uh, it is zero to five degree temperature rating. I've taken it in some pretty cold weather and it has kept me pretty warm. It's actually got to the point where I've actually had to unzip it to cool it down. It's a good sleeping bag though. It's kind of bulky, but I like the compression sack it already comes in. Uh, here, this is my Thermarest sleeping pad. Uh, I like this. It's nice. It's easy. And it makes sleeping in the outdoors a whole lot better. Uh, I got two forms of pillow. This one, this one's only a few pounds. It's my Thermarest pillow. It's nice. It folds down easy. I don't think I'm going to break both. I might. Uh, I got my Swiss gear. Other pillow. This one's a lot bigger. It's better. It weighs about the same as that. Uh, I just hate the whole mesh filling on it. And I bring my sleeping, my foam pad. Uh, I like to put this under here and set this on top. Give me a little lift off from the ground. That way I, not, I, I don't know, don't really, I like to go out and sleep comfortable in the woods. It's always a good experience to know you can wake up and be energized and ready to go on a new adventure. Alright, now on to the backpack. It's right here. This is my Filled and Stream 65 liter backpack. Uh, it's gone on a few adventures already. Uh, it's been holding out pretty well for the amount of weight I like to put into it. I do carry a lot of weight. And I will get to that at the end of the video. Uh, I will show you where my weight sits at. And that will determine, like, yeah, how bad I carry. I carry a lot of equipment because I like to go in and I like to be comfortable out in the woods. No, I don't need a car or anything else. I just need this right here. In my two front legs. But yeah, it's a good design. Alright. Now, this is <coughs> all my miscellaneous things. So uh, let's go around first. First, I got my REI compact sack, stuff sack, uh, 12 ounces. Uh, still debating. I just picked this up. Uh, I got my other compression sack, it's 30 liters, it's pretty, this is meant for like my coats and stuff, uh, I got a journal, this is my hiking journal, uh, somebody told me about it, capture the moments on paper, just like you would in a camera. A deck of cards because you never know you might want to play a game 
fit. I got other somebody else going too. I got a can of WD-40. I brown with some duct tape. Uh, I got an emergency poncho just in case my coat breaks out. Uh, but I don't think so because my coat's held out pretty good. Got some stuff to wash myself down with. Uh, I got this tarp. Uh, it's five feet by seven. Uh, it's not bad. It's not a very big tarp. It's very light. I got it for ten bucks at Walmart. Uh, I got my shot cord. I bring more of this. Uh, you've seen in past videos on how I've tied it down and everything. Done pretty good. Uh, this is my NOAA weather radio. Uh, this thing is to warn me about oncoming storms and it has helped me prepare to either settle down or get out. Uh, I can just bring some extra cord just in case you never know something breaks. It's not the most durable, but it works. And I bring another. Uh, I got my dry sack. It's not bad. Uh, it holds up. I got some duct tape. Always got to have duct tape. I got my pack towel. This thing is pretty cool. I haven't got a chance to use it yet, but maybe it might go pretty well on this trip. Uh, I got my Gerber shovel. This thing, yeah, it's got weight behind it, but at the same time, it's so small and it digs pretty well. Uh, this is my Red Cross radio. Uh, I'm bringing this because I it, I can charge it through a solar panel. Uh, I haven't really got to use it. I've seen others like it, uh, but it'd be nice to charge some of my equipment while I'm out. I know it won't be like the greatest like at your house, but it'll do. And I got my Purify tablet in just in case my water filter decides to break down on a straw. Because we're going, I'm going to be right by a lake. Not a lot of people go on this trail, so I'll pretty much have the whole area to myself. Uh, this is my Cadenine water filter. Uh, this thing is amazing. I've had it for a while, and I've used it quite a bit, and it has held out its end of the bargain. As long as I keep it cleaned and everything, it still works. Uh, I got these. These are pretty cool. Picked them up at a dollar store. Pretty much like add water, come up and their towels on the go. Uh, cotton balls for lighting the fire. Always done pretty good. They light up pretty quick from the striker and uh, if my hands get cold, Summertime, I don't know. I'm going pretty high up. Going to be at 11,500 feet, so the weather will get pretty cold up there, especially at nighttime. If it does, I got these to help keep my hands warm. <coughs> and a book. Uh, I started reading this. Uh, I haven't really got far into it. I'm going to really try to read into it on my trip. Uh, it's so far, it's starting out pretty good. And then my ditty sex. I like my ditty sex. I can you put whatever, keep things divided and everything that I need so I can get to it a lot easier. But that's what my stuff results into. Well, and now... I'm going to pack it away and I will show you what it's all like.